Tottenham Hotspur had no cavalry this time, and Nuno Espirito Santo was left with both old and new difficulties after his gambit backfired. He left his big guns at home to prepare for Sunday's London Derby against West Ham United, but the 11 alterations featured nine internationals, with over 200 European games between them. However, Tottenham were outfought and outplayed in the second half, when Maximilian Witek's superb volley with 12 minutes remaining beat Pier Luigi Golini, who could have done better. To finish top in their Europa League Conference Group G, Tottenham may need to win both of their remaining home matches against Vitesse and Rennes, as well as get something away from Mura. Nuno summoned Harry Kane from the substitutes bench to see off Mura when he had a similar problem in the previous group game. Tonight, Kane was sitting with his feet up and there was little in the dugout to provide the threat that was missing on the field. Brian Gill, who looked really good at times but was less at ease on the right wing, fired the first shot from Spurs eight minutes before halftime, which looped on to the underside of the bar and was the closest Spurs got to scoring. There are more pressing concerns. Nuno has struggled to motivate players who believe they will only be given opportunities to play in this league and not in the Premier League. Tottenham have yet to find an answer to the Giovanni Lo Celso problem. He has received praise for his ingenuity in recent Argentina games but Nuno does not use him in his favored attacking midfield spot. Dele Alli put up a strong performance in the Premier League's first match victory over Manchester City, but he is lacking in confidence. Bergwin is out of shape following an injury and has had little influence on his preferred left flank. Nuno made no indication that any of these players would be pounding on his door for a starting spot against West Ham at the weekend. 